Welcome back, show family. I right, you already know what we're getting into today. I'm jumping into Undead Unlock episode seven. All right, so yeah, we saw in the last episode they're basic. They uh, what the fuck? They're basically in Zombie Town, and um, Undead has a plan. You know, he got it all figured out. Or excuse me, on how to attack Spoil and stuff. So. Yeah, we just gonna jump right into it, guys. All right, let's go. All right. Yeah. I think one week ago was like around the same week that Undead and Unluck started their um relationship. Oh, that's the teacher that turned into a zombie that just um Undead just made his bride. Yeah. You see, I was right. <laughs> What a way to get into the intro. What the hell? All right, present time. <laughs> Loki, this is on some Promise Neverland type shit with the kids. Himawari. I didn't know that's what sm oh, sunflowers. There's more time added on them. Oh, yeah, he's fighting this hollow ass nigga from Bleach. <laughs> but at least they're on his side. Oh shit, they're gonna see her. So what's she gonna do, Fuko? So is she jealous? Like, what's going on? <sighs> okay, Fuko's putting two and two together. <laughs> All aimed towards... Towards Fuko. <laughs> you see? <laughs> Girl, these zombies, they don't got nothing to lose. <laughs> they're about to find out. Tell <laughs> you to buy for me. Hey, 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 hey. Remember, Fuko's your one and only buy. That's crazy. I mean, but does she got a choice? Yeah, spoil, right? Mm hmm. Fucking little, like, the Attack on Titan Wall Maria and shit. It's interesting because, from her aerial view perspective, it seems like the island is in the shape of a sunflower you know like the middle of a sunflower that circle yeah yep go back down there until shit is good i think after everything is said and done it seems like the kids is gonna be probably be the ones in charge because they're all all everybody's gonna blow up <laughs> yeah they all killing them so it's perfect because she could touch him from the inside and blow him up is that them escaping the fuck? Did he just got an armor increase? Is he evolving? Yeah. So when you keep her mood up, the time increases. So you just gotta keep being happy? Oh shit, nigga releasing a Acero. <laughs> How the fuck did it get to New York City? I'm dead. Because you a bitch. Like, hello? <laughs> you could always replace it. I was just gonna say, it looks like he's getting spoiled faster. Mm -hmm. Ew. This nigga on some Orochimaru shit. Moving his neck like that. Yeah, Andy got a plan. Being that he's close to Fuko, she's, she got that unluck. It's gonna hit him. That's right, Fuko. Three, seven, oh. <laughs> greatest in all creation okay guys so she basically i wouldn't say she defeated him with talk no jutsu like no but let's just say yeah like that was the whole goal of um that's the whole point of raising the timer is that you got to have hope and have dreams and believe in yourself and keep be confident and stuff. That's what because if you're just like wailing away, oh my god, this is gonna be you know, being sad and all that shit, your timer is gonna go down faster. So he didn't expect Fuko to be on some, you know, confident shit and all of that. He did not expect that at all. He expected her to be afraid of him and all this shit. And it's like, no, she proved him wrong. And now they fucking him up, and hopefully in the next episode, this nigga is gone for good. All right, so yeah, guys, y'all yeah, let me know what y'all thought about this episode. What y'all thought about the teacher sacrificing herself? I mean, 
it wasn't like she was gonna come back, you know, like oh, be a, a actual human again and stuff like that, you know. But that's that's crazy. Like she really dead ass got her wish, you know, and she could die happily, you know, even though it was short lived and stuff like that. But um, but yeah, I think this was a solid episode. All right, I'm gonna get going, guys. I'm gonna see y'all soon. <laughs> Jenny.